Hi everyone, Az here from Hot Toys, and June is proving to be a very heavy month on the wallet. Uh, Lego have decided to release an absolute barrage of new sets, and I simply couldn't resist picking the vast majority of them up. And there's still so much more, but I'll go into that later on in the video, that I do want to pick up that I haven't yet. And that's all new from this month as well. So without further ado, let's have a look at the haul. Right, let's have a look at the free gifts to begin with. First of all, we have this little playground and uh, it comes with a test of strength, a little uh, hoopla with the ducky poosies and uh, also a banana swing. Uh, I've already got one of these. I think this promotion's already run before, uh, but I, I'll find some use for it somewhere. And then we have this, which is um, pretty cool, actually, because based on what I've purchased today, this pirate swing is going to come in uh, very handy indeed. So I've got a couple of ideas about what I want to do with this one. So with that said, let's come on to some more of the purchases. Can we get the camera to shape more when I throw them in? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, definitely on the later sets anyway, but I think I'm going to have to put the camera back for that. Anywho, uh, this is the ice cream store. This is really, really cool looking. I love the little kitty figure with his uh, big stack chocolate ice cream and balloon. A wonderful little print on this figure here. <laughs> and uh, this dude here looks happy. With his mobile phone and his, uh, I don't know, salted caramel uh, ice cream store. But it's the it's the aesthetic. It's very kind of like 50s diner-esque. A milkshake, strawberry milkshake on the top there. I've actually flipped this over. Uh, and you do have the modular nature. Modular nature, you know what I mean. In terms of uh, removing the roof. Uh, but this is a, a small set, a cool little set. Uh, this is going to go into my town uh, rather nicely. <laughs> And, uh, 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 and, uh, uh, yes, I got three of these sets, and these are the new city uh, houses uh, with its little electrical car, uh, which runs off fossil fuels. Uh, so, uh, this I absolutely love. I already bought the uh, three in one houses, I bought three of those. They're actually on my windowsill at the, as the moment. I'm waiting for modger cases to arrive i ordered them back in january i think they said the delivery date was between may and july here we are in june so fingers crossed they'll come relatively soon uh, but i just thought that these look so cool uh with the garage and the little charger there whatever a little conservatory slash greenhouse area that you can have here little bit of sports ball going on between father and uh, son if i move this one away and then bring this one into the picture you can see a little bit more of the inside got a nice little kitchen here although the drawers seem to be pointing out of the house but okay whatever always a toilet these lego people got a poop and uh i appreciate that and then we see the way that it's constructed is it is done in again a modular modular style uh, of putting it together so these these houses are, are pretty damn cool so i wanted a few because i want a residential area uh when i eventually get on to, to moving this stuff out of the modular cases and into a lego city and so i've got a, an a-frame i did have two i gave one to my nephew as well so i've got an a-frame but that will probably be for some sort of park activity uh but these are a great little purchase uh, really chuffed uh that they put these out Oy -oy. Now, since we're talking about residential stuff, uh, this is the new apartment block, uh, which dropped. And again, uh, I think City is putting out some unbelievably cool stuff. When you're constructing a, a, a Lego City yourself, obviously the um, prestige stuff, the creative stuff is, is the thing to go for. But... I think that it's going to be really enhanced now by some of the stuff coming out in the city and also enhanced by the stuff that's in the ideal section as well. But this is something which I feel can really sort of fit in 
uh, because you can't have everything pretty much the same size. You need to have some sort of undulation when it comes to the uh, heights within your town, within your city. Uh, that's why in the module cases behind me, when I've done my just my tiny little display, I've got the bigger buildings at the back and then the small buildings at the front, obviously, so you can see the ones at the back, but also just to give that sort of idea of uh, not everything's the same. Uh, and I know I don't have a lot of room to work with in that, but you know, it's, it's something. It's a little bit of something. Uh, so if we flip this guy over now uh, and see what's in the actual uh, building itself, I just, you know, we've got a great little bottom down there, uh, the entranceway up top here, guy in his little apartment, cooking up some eggs, maybe, over here, somebody watching the TV. Uh, you can even go out onto the roof and uh, have a bit of a barbie uh, or a bit of a disco. That's the slushy man down at the bottom there. Look at that hot dog. Hot dog. So this is a this is a cracking little set. Uh, I I couldn't I couldn't miss out on this one. Possibility after I've built this up and seen exactly what it's like. Possibility that I might get uh, a second one, and we'll see we'll see what the potential is to do with that. Uh, but with it being again modularly constructed, you can play around and put it into to different positions uh, and get a different aesthetic if you want to pop it into a. A different uh, area, a separate area of your town or city. So yeah, again, I saw this, had to have it, which is, you know, the impulse control issues I have. Oh, we're getting into earthquake territory now when it comes to the shaking. We're still not even done with the big sets. We're gradually getting into bigger and bigger sets as the video goes on. And this is the ski slope and climbing resort for the Lego City. Again, it's another great addition, uh, particularly if you have a snow section of your Lego Town, Lego City. I do have a snow section downstairs. Uh, and I don't know what, I mean, obviously this is all synthetic, so this could quite happily fit into a Lego City that isn't. It's, it isn't a snow city uh, or a snow area. But it's got the uh, little bit of ice skating, a little bit of skis going on. We've got the climbing area on the side there. Uh, and of course, the ski slope going down with the sports uh, sections. If we flip it over to see how it's all put together on the inside. Got these little rock, uh, rucksacks, etc. Pretty cool. We've got a little cafe area going on at the top there. Uh, changing rooms, maybe? Uh, or something like that. You got the you got the helmets. Look at that bloody hell! He's gonna go on a BMX guy. Crazy dude, you're crazy. Great minifigures as well. They got some awesome prints on them. Uh, look at that ice skater. She looks fantastic. And again, modularly put together. Maybe you can have a little bit of a play. What you want to do? And there we can see. There's a lift that goes on over there, and there's a winch uh, that uh, allows you to go up and down the the climbing area. So again, I thought this was just such a cool set, no pun intended, uh, to go together. It's something fun for the uh, the Lego people to do. One thing that Lego's been short of, you know, it's got it's had lots of residential areas, cafes, uh, uh, police stations, stuff like that. Uh, but it really has sort of missed out on fun. So like fun items, what pastimes do these people get up to? They can't just you know, go to go to the police station and come home at night. What else can they do? So things like the ski slope uh, is a great addition. And the next one, to me, is the, the best Lego city set possibly ever done. Oh, <laughs> I had to put that down a little bit more carefully. I've already had to pan the camera out so we can get this box into the shot. And this, of course is the Lego City downtown. And uh, in my eyes, as I just said, I think this is possibly the greatest Lego City set that has been made. We finally have something for people to do. Uh, not just the ski slope now. Yeah, I know they had the stunt area. I'm not, I gotta be honest, I'm not into the stunt area, but you know, whatever. Uh, but now we've got... Pizza places, noodle places together, comic store, 
uh, pet store, barbers. Uh, it's all in one place. A little bit of hotel disco tech going on at the top there. Uh, this awesome walkway which connects the two two areas together. Uh, fine, and and also we've got one of those fresh uh, veg carts. So it feels like it feels like uh, they actually have some sort of social, legit social aspect going down to shop, drop down to shops, you know. Uh, modular. Look at the way that it's put together. Look at the way that it's put together there. And uh, look at the size of it. This is a huge set. This is like over 2,000 pieces, which I think is the biggest LEGO City set that there has been. I need uh, not absolute confirmation on that. So to have all these things in close proximity to each other is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can yourself add to these little areas. You can put some more plants or something down there if you wanted to. You've got the bollards that are protecting the people who are eating the noodles or the uh, going for a bit of a pizza. Just tossing a pizza over here. Giggity, giggity. Uh, and you just see the great little things going on here. Got some smoothies going on. There's the pizza place. There's the comic store. I think it's got some collectibles up in there as well. We've got the nightlife. We've got a bit of a disco tech going on up top. Pets. Uh, vets. Vets for pets. Uh, and then the barbers, I don't think he's too chuffed uh, with his haircut. But, I, I mean, come on now. This is this is something special. This, I, 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 this, I think, is going to be the first build because uh, I think this is legit amazing. And you can see here that it's actually attached to um, like a water, a water feature. So you can, you can create your little water features to go around that. And then maybe even connect it onto the uh, the Ideals Lighthouse. Uh, maybe push that just a couple of uh, plates uh, across. That could be pretty... Oh, you see, I'm already brain farting. Uh, but that's not all. Uh, but wait! There's more! Oh, we can start throwing them back in now. Uh, so the penultimate one is the Ninjango Dragons Rising Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. Uh, and this, I thought, it just looked so great. I just thought this was a beautiful aesthetic uh, for the Ninjango. And the figures, I mean, the figures are fantastic. Down at the bottom here, uh, I, I do have the Ninjango Gardens. Uh, I don't have the first two sets, but they're certainly on my radar to get from the Ninjango movie because I do want to have uh, my sort of Ninjango theme going across one of the Moji cases. Uh, so we've got Kai, Cole, Naya, uh, Spirit of the Temple, Lord Raz, and uh, Empress Beatrix. Okay, uh, so let's flip this over here. And again, doesn't that just look epic? That is just so, it's kind of very simple, but at the same time, it's just really, really effective in the colors, beautiful colors, uh, the way that it's put together. Uh, the dynamicism of the, the tree next to the temple itself. Bell at the top there. Uh, There's just, just lovely little things uh, in this set. So yeah, I saw this and I was like, that's going to go into the Ninjango or what will become the Ninjango area. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Easy now. Look, I've had to put the camera really high up now. Uh, to capture all of this, so you can see a couple of chairs there from Star Trek, you know, X06 and uh, Q... X, whatever. A uh, couple of little statues down there. Anywho, this is the uh, final piece that I've bought that's arrived, uh, which takes the, the spend to uh, nearly a uh, thousand pounds. And I didn't even get all the stuff that I wanted because. There's some great little pieces still that I want to pick up. Uh, the, the Arctic stuff, the Arctic ship, the Arct the, you know, the Arctic accessories that go all with that set. Uh, they're fantastic. I love them. I'm, I'm looking to, to get those. There's the little Range Rover, Land Rover, uh, and just a couple of other sets as well, smaller sets, but they, they sort of tot up the skate park. Oh, my lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. But this... 
is the Ninjango City Market. And oh my, this is super. It's coming on two base plates, this one. Somewhere in the region of uh, six, th over 6,000 pieces. I think it's the ninth, the ninth largest Lego set there's ever been. Uh, just coming in behind the uh, Rivendell set that they uh, only released a few weeks ago. Uh, but this one just, ah, oh, it looks absolutely epic. Uh, and so many, like 21, I think. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21. 21 minifigs uh, with this one too. So there's an absolute plethora uh, of different things going on here. I think the Ninjango stuff. I've never watched a Ninjango cartoon movie. I've been told watch the movie. It's good fun. But I just really love the aesthetic of it. I'm going to have to, to uh, check some of this out, aren't I? Uh, but this is, you know, we've got some awesome shops going on here. We've got this great monorail. Uh, not monorail, but you know, sort of, uh, I, I keep forgetting what they call them. Ski things, ski lifts, I like to call them. Uh, that takes them from one side to another. Uh, all this stuff going on up here. Uh, this guy's had a bit of a breakdown. Good on you, mate. Uh, some guy's got some handcuffs. Kinky. It's only 14 plus, mate. Come on now. Look at this. Look at this wench with her uh, flame shooters. That's crazy stuff. Got uh, Lloyd and Kai? No, that's Naya. My bad. My bad. Um, uh, going on here. Little guy down at the bottom there with his fruits and veg. Uh, on his little uh, rafty poozy. Uh, got some green tea going on, probably. Uh, a reporter, a cameraman doing uh, some sort of exclusive. Uh, and if I... Oh, it's so heavy. I think there's over 50 bags in this. Now, they are individual, so you don't get multiples, like two number ones, three number twos. But there's 50 plus bags inside of this thing, which is absolutely crazy. But I do think you've got to mix bags uh, when you're doing uh, certain builds of it, certain certain areas. You can see how it's modularly put together, which is, uh, again, superb. Uh, allows you good access. Nice little wheelchair uh, lift on ramp uh, there, which is pretty cool. Uh, dude there with some uh, figures, pool table. This is some, this is some great stuff. A toilet with flushing poop. Why? I mean, I get the toilet. But they really, apparently they really wanted that flushing poop. Okay, that's uh, cool, I guess, maybe. Uh, so there you go. You can attach the uh, this set, the market set, to the gardens, which is just behind me. I just built that uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and... and absolutely awesome uh awesome awesome so there you go that's like a thousand pounds worth of lego believe it or not uh but that was there's some massive sets in there the downtown the ninjango markets uh a lot of pieces that's eight thousand plus pieces just with those two sets and one of them's a city set uh, and i've also got the bat cave on vip order now uh, that came out today uh, to purchase so that's on the way and i really don't know how long i can hold out until i decide to pick up that arctic stuff and the uh, little land rover and all the other little knickknacks skate park and and all that and that's gonna tot up once all those have gone in to uh another four or five yes what happened this month i mean i'm not complaining i'm not complaining uh, I think it's great. So, so many absolutely cool things. And just that, it, like, again, the, the modular cases, the Lego and the modular case, just give me ideas uh, for when I eventually, it's a two-year plan. It's a two-year plan. It's not going to happen for a couple of years. But when I eventually move uh, to a new place and uh, get to to just have a room specific to doing a Lego city, uh, or even do out a garage or a cellar, something uh, that I can just convert into a Lego city area because that would just be cool. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the vid. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed the Lego pieces. Is there any that you've picked up yourself? Let me know. And uh, I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.